In this video, I'll talk about adding a backup generator. We will explore the best generator options for your needs and show you how to calculate the right size for your system. There are a couple of ways to use a generator to charge your batteries. RV batteries. These are small portable generators. You will connect this to a battery charger. House batteries. Uses a bigger generator that can start manually or automatically. Connect to a charger or inverter charger. We will begin with the portable generator option since it will be the most common choice for many of my viewers. We will start with the small portable inverter generator, like the Honda EU 2200i or the Pulsar 2. The Honda runs on gasoline, and the Pulsar can use either gasoline or propane. If you already use propane in your RV, the Pulsar might be better since you can store propane longer than gasoline. And you might already have propane for cooking. Portable generators are quieter than bigger open frame generators. To charge your batteries with a generator, you will need a battery charger. It's best to use 50 to 70% of the electrical output of the generator to save on fuel. For example, a 2000 watt generator can give you 1800 watts of electrical power. If we use 50% of that, we become 900 watts. We then divide this by the charging voltage of a 12 volt lithium battery, which is 61 amps. A 60 amp charger, like the Progressive Dynamics model, is perfect for this. You have to run a cable from the generator to the charger. You might wonder how long it takes to fully charge a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery from 0 to 100%. A 12 volt 100 amp hour battery has a total capacity of 1360 watt hours. We then need to divide this by the charging power which is 900 watts. We get a charge time of 1.5 hours or 1 hour and 30 minutes. If your charger is smaller, you can use more than one at the same time. For example, you could use two 12 volt 30 amp chargers. If you want to decrease the cost of your charger, Consider upgrading to a 24 volt system, because the current will be cut in half, as you can see from this calculation example. In our advanced setup, we'll be utilizing a high capacity open frame generator. Most generators this size have dual fuel capability and a power output range of 8 to 13 kilowatts. For optimal efficiency and noise reduction, Operating the generator at 50 to 70% of its maximum power capacity is recommended. Taking a 13 kW generator as an example, which provides an electrical output of 10 kW, applying a conservative use factor of 70% translates to a practical output of 7 kW. This adjustment is crucial for fuel efficiency and minimizing noise. Next, we can calculate the charging current into the battery. At 12 volt, the generated current is 480 amps. At 24 volts, it's 239 amps. And for 48 volt batteries, you will see about 119 amps. These calculations clearly indicate that high capacity generators are best suited for systems with 48 volt batteries due to the high current. The EG4 charge verter is recommended due to its manual current adjustment capability allowing for precise control over the charging process. If we have two 5 kWh server racks, it will take 1.7 hours or 1 hour and 42 minutes to charge from 0 to 100%. Alternatively, you can use the input of an inverter charger. Just ensure that the charging current of the inverter charger is high enough. For example, a Victron Multiplus 48 volt 5000 VA has a maximum charging voltage of 70 amps. As you can see in this schematic, the shore power and generator power are wired into a manual transfer switch. The user can select the power source, shore or generator. One of these two inputs then goes to the AC in on the Multiplus. If you have a larger charging current than the Multiplus has, then you can add more inputs in parallel and split the output power of the generator into two separate inverter chargers. This is the same method as previously discussed with two 12 volt 30 amp battery chargers. You can use an automatic start-stop if the inverter charger has this capability. 
I know that Victron has this capability with the BMV 700 battery monitor, GX device or from the control screen if your generator has an automatic start-stop function. Before adding a generator into your off-grid system, it's crucial to align the generator's output with the battery's C rate. For example, a 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium battery with a recommended charging C rate of 0.5C should not receive more than 50 amps of charging current to prevent stress on the battery. If the battery's specification permits a 1C rate, it can safely handle up to 100 amps. Exceeding these rates risk triggering the battery management system or BMS to shut down, interrupting the charging process to protect the battery from damage. While generators offer a reliable backup power source, their operational and maintenance costs are significant. Generators require regular maintenance and the fuel costs can accumulate. Therefore, expanding your solar array, if feasible, is a preferable alternative. Adding more solar panels increases your system's capacity to generate electricity directly from sunlight, reducing reliance on generator backup. Do you have plans on adding a generator? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a like if it was useful and subscribe for more videos like this. And watch these videos next.